Hey guys. Hey chosen generation. Hey beautiful people of the most high God. How are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing? I am tired a little bit. I've been running around all day long. But I wanted to come on real quick um, and give you something that the Holy Spirit was giving me. Um, I've been out running errands today and I just came in and I was doing some things. And the Holy Spirit was like, I need you to come on and, and pray and, and meditate. And as I began to pray and meditate, he began to speak to me. But I want to say welcome before I get started. Welcome, welcome, and welcome to all my new subscribers. I am so happy to have you here. My name is Me, and on this channel, I give you whatever the Holy Spirit has given me, a prophetic word, a scripture, or just whatever word of encouragement the Holy Spirit has given me for that day. I, um, like I said, I was out today, off today from work, doing some things, taking care of errands, came in the house, and the Holy Spirit began to, you know, how you're doing things, and all of a sudden, it's almost like he was saying, come here, come here, come here. I want you to say this. I want you to, oh, I got something. I want to talk to you about something. So I go and I bow down and I begin to meditate and then I begin to pray. And he said, um, tell my people, go on and tell my people, go online. You want me to come on and tell you, he said to wait. He said, tell them to wait, not to move, not to move. That's the first thing he said, not to move. And I said, not to move. He said, tell them to wait. Some decisions that they're making, um, he's not in it. And he's not telling them to do certain things. And he gave me the scripture to give Proverbs 14 and 12. He's saying, there's a way that seemeth right unto the man. There's a way. Let me repeat that. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Some things, if we don't have the Holy Spirit directing us in what we're doing, it can lead to death. If it's not something that the Holy Spirit is telling us to do and we can think that it seems right, like that verse says right there. He said it may seem right. It may seem like it's okay to do it. It may seem like, you know, I'm going to make this move because I know this person. I'm going to make this business move because of this person. I'm going to move to this state because I got family there. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Because it seems right. It seems right. It's familiar. But the ends thereof are the ways of death. So I wanted to come on and give you what the Holy Spirit was giving me. In the midst of me doing things around the home and trying to get myself together. Because tomorrow my granddaughter is 18 and she's going to be graduating. So I'm trying to get things together for that. But I have to be obedient when the Holy Spirit gives me something to come on and say. Amen. So also, I just, oh my gosh, I feel the presence of God right now. Thank you, Jesus. God is going to direct you. Whoever this is for, you know who, you know, whatever decision you have made, whatever decision you're making, make sure that it's in line. Make sure that it's in line with God and what he wants you to do, that the Holy Spirit is directing you, that it's not just your flesh, yourself, there's something that you're just doing, but make sure that he gives you the green light, not the red light, but the green light to go ahead and do whatever it is that you're trying to do, whether it's business, uh, deal, whether it's uh, moving to another state, maybe, maybe it's a job opportunity, whatever this decision that you're about to make or have already in the process of making. He said that he's going to give you, this is what he said before I came on, to let you know, he's going to give you, the whole God saying he's going to give you the desires of your heart. Those desires that you have put before him, placed before him. And you're posi positioning yourself to, and you've been waiting on these things. But he said, continue to wait. He said, continue to wait and stay in position. I hear him saying, stay in position and continue to wait. Those things that he's showed you that he's going to do and that he is doing little by little. 
See, our timing is not God's timing. We can't rush God. I remember many times myself saying, okay, let me help him out. Let me help God out. We can't help God out. We have to step back and allow him to move when he's ready to move. We, we can't rush him. Okay? So, again, Proverbs, when you get a chance, read that. A lot of you probably already know that verse. Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the ends thereof are the ways of death. And it's very dangerous if we do things that are not pleasing and not not what God has told us to do. In other words, not pleasing to in his what he not, not pleasing to what he's asked us to do, or or we're just rushing, rushing into doing this, rushing into doing that, rushing into doing this, and not listening, not taking the time to really listen. To what the Holy Spirit is saying. And that's what he's saying. I'm not going to be before you long. But I just wanted to come on real quick. And say what the Holy Spirit was giving me. Um, normally I would have came on earlier. But today I was doing a lot of errands. Running around doing this and that. And I said you know what. When the Holy Spirit gave me that. He said come on and tell the people what I'm saying. And he says those that it's for. It's going to reach you. He said you will know. It's going to reach you. On this video, it's going to it's going to reach you. Uh, also, the Holy Spirit is saying that there are some convictions that He has given you. Um, something that you're doing. I don't know if you're in a relationship or if you're some things that you're doing um, on your job or what have you. Um, Something that you're doing, the Holy Spirit is saying, and asked me to come on and say, He's convicted you, and it's two different two different messages, but I had to, I have to be obedient. He said He's convicted you of some things that you're doing, and He said you've been overriding Him, still doing it, still doing it, still doing it, overriding Him. He's asked, He's dealt with you and told you to stop. So he told me to come on again tonight as a warning to tell you to stop. Whoever it is, you know who you are. He said that, that, that you would see this video and you would know without a shadow of a doubt that it was for you. So the Holy Spirit is saying, whatever it is that you're doing that is not pleasing in God's sight and it's not aligned with the word of God. He said that he has already told you to stop and you're still doing it. And it may seem like it's something very minor, maybe little, or maybe seem like something, some things um, could be pretty big. But the Holy Spirit is saying it's big to him because it's not aligned with the word of God. And he's saying to stop it. He told me to come on and say stop, to stop it. Because you know who you are and you know what you're doing. And he said he's already showed you. And if you keep on, it's going to, like that, like that scripture that I just read, the verse, it says, there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the ends thereof. Now, it may seem okay. A lot of times back in the day, they would say, oh, everybody's doing it. Everybody's going to the club and still going to church on Sundays. Everybody's doing this. Everybody's drinking. Nowadays, everybody's drinking. You know, you, wherever you, you know, everybody's doing it. Everybody's smoking weed. Everybody's, you know. There is a way that seems right unto the man, but the ends thereof are the ways of death. It seems right. You know, it seems right. It seems right to go ahead and, and, and do that underhanded stuff at work. You know, doing things that, you know, you think you're getting away with because nobody sees you. But remember that God sees you. God knows. And God will expose. I hear him saying he will expose and he will pull the cover. Okay, he will pull the cover. God loves us and he 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 corrects us. You know, it's something sometimes when I'm doing things and the Holy Spirit will correct me. You know, and that's when you know that you're growing in God because you listen and you stop and you listen. You don't get upset, you don't get mad, you just say, Okay, Holy Spirit, I hear you. You you, you change. Because you say, you know, I'm constantly telling God, God, create in me a clean heart. And renew the right spirit within me. You know, I don't want to walk around with uh, uh, 
anything that's not right. You know, I don't want to walk around and, and treat people any kind of way and think that I'm going to get away. I see people all the time. And it's times that you show love and kindness to people. And this is off the, what I'm saying, but it, it is kind of similar to what I'm saying. You, you can show kindness to people. Sometimes people are just nasty. Just nasty for no reason. You go in the stores and I say, hi, hi how are you? You know, the, ca- the cashier. Hi, how are you? Don't barely want to speak. But God is saying, he wants to make sure that our hearts are right. You know, there's a way that seemeth right unto the man, a man, but the ends thereof are the ways of death. I love you. Be encouraged. Be obedient to what God is calling you to do and whatever he's saying in this message. And he is going to bless you. He's going to bless you. Go into your secret closet and talk to God. If it's areas that you feel like you can't come up in, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. I want to encourage you. And I want to push you to be obedient to God. I speak life over that situation. And I thank you, Father, that you will touch whatever area it is for my sister and my brother. That you will encourage them and let them know that they can do all things through Christ that strengthens them. I love you guys. I'm going to go. Be encouraged. And remember, you are a chosen generation, a royal, a royal priesthood. God bless you.